Hey guys, Friday night, back in the office, uh, building a bunch of stuff to get it out, still waiting for a bunch of parts, all that nonsense. But right now, I'm gonna go get a uh, trailer so that we can put that car and I can take it tomorrow to another place. Before I left here, I wanted to show you guys something about batteries. All right, guys, let's talk about batteries in BMS. First of all, what is BMS? BMS stands for Battery Management System. It manages the amount of energy that goes into the batteries and that goes out of the batteries, and it stops it whenever it feels that it's no longer safe. Those systems exist. Uh, that car has a battery management system. The Tesla has a battery management system. It works. Uh, is it 100% essential? I believe it's not. I know there are people out there that are watching this right now that disagree with me, but there are proof that it's not 100% necessary because my Samba has been working without one for over a year now. Not only is my Samba working without BMS, it's working with different types of batteries. Half of my battery looked like this, like these, you know? And half of the other battery looked like these yellow bricks. They're all connected together. It's one single multi-cell, multi-chemistry. It's, it's a bi-chemistry battery pack. A lot of people say it can be done. I'm running around with it, no problem. Is it too risky, too dangerous to do it? I do not believe it is. I understand a lot of people out there believe it is. So I believe I'm in bottom balancing and I have a video that I'm gonna link right here that sort of explains a little bit about balancing batteries. It doesn't really explain why I chose bottom balancing, but I will make a video in the future that is gonna explain that. For now, I believe that there should be a BMS, a battery uh, monitoring system. That I think it is a good idea no matter what, I, I don't have one that is installed in the Samba permanently, but there is a thing, there's a little dongle like this in my Samba, which I use, uh, which all the Tesla modules have, and I usually go and connect one of these, and I did it after a year, and all the batteries are exactly the same. They're not in balance after a year of going up and down. Um, so that's the reason why I don't think they need to be actively balanced because I believe that they do not get out of balance. There is a chance that it could happen. The chance does go up uh, if you use uh, U-cells from all over the place of different brands, different makes, different ages. That increases the chances of that, you know, the, the maybe an imbalance happening or one of them going bad and, and, design, and, and developing like a short. But I think it's still very unlikely. And if it did, there's still some other things that are gonna save you, like the little uh, fuses here. If you know, if one of those shorts out uh, more than six amps, then that fuse is gonna go. But of course, it could always develop a small short, uh, making the, the whole module over time, you know, uh, to go out of balance from the rest. So that is a possibility. I'm not saying it's impossible. There is a risk of that. I just do not believe that it is high enough for people, for me to say, I'm not gonna even attempt it, I'm not gonna do it. It's sort of like getting in your car and driving to the store. Is that a risky activity that people engage in? Absolutely, people die in cars all the time. Every day, people die in cars um, from different reasons. So it is a risky activity. I just do not believe that it's too risky for us to not do it. Right? It's too risky that you will choose not to do it. And so it's the same thing with batteries. I think people blow it out of proportion. And so that is the reason why I do not use a, an active battery, battery management system. But look, if you wanted to check your batteries, a very, very quick battery monitoring system could be device. You don't even have to make anything. You just have to use stuff that's already available uh, on the store, you can, you can buy it already made, right? So, okay, let's use this as an example. This is a 12 volt battery. Each one of these is gonna look like one of those, right? 100 cells or 200 cells. I explain how you make a 12 volt battery using 600 cells, sort of like well, for the power wall in this video. I'll link it right here. Um, so here we go, three cells, 
right? It's essentially what it is. There's, it's gonna have a bunch of parallel cells. Then what you do is you put this little dongle that connects to the positive, the negative, and then all the ones in between. You could use something like this. Check out this guy. This is just a meter that tells you how the batteries are doing. Let's connect that. I take that back. This thing doesn't work. So let's use this one. This one, it's a simple little device. Shows you each battery's... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's why. I was plugging it backwards. Check it out. This little thing shows you exactly... Oh, the difference. These batteries are not balanced. See? Look. Shows you the... It's 11 volts. There's a difference of 500 millivolts, so half of a volt it's off, and it's the center one that it's lowest. This one's the highest, this one's the second highest, this one's the, the lowest. This stuff is off the shelf. This is like 20 bucks. You can buy it online. I'll link it. Um, and you can use it. The only problem is that you can't leave it connected all the time because it only takes the energy from one of the cells. And so that battery or whichever the cells that is, I believe is this battery, will start, this thing will unbalance your, your pack. And so you can't leave it plugged in there. You, you can plug it in like this to check it. Be like, oh, okay, I gotta, I gotta rebalance the pack, right? Next is this guy. This guy is very simple. It's just a simple LED dial. All right, this one basically says the same thing. Um, this is the highest. This is the second highest, this is the lowest. And it, sh it shows you that by these little LEDs. There's a bunch of different versions of this little LED, you know, graphical uh, meter. You can, I'm gonna link that out to one of those. You can find it online too. You can buy them, they're, uh, you know, they're cheap, they're a few dollars. Here's yet another one. And this one includes a little buzzard so that it lets you know. I do not know if you can leave this one connected the whole time and it'll draw the same amount of energy to operate from all the cells or if this has the same problem as that one over there that will unbalance your cells. So let's plug it in, show you how that works. Here we go, it tells you number one is 3.9, number two is 3.4, number three is 3.7. All, it's 11.1. All right, and then you can set this one, the parameters, when do you want it, the alarm to go off. This one will tell you when the voltage goes too low a, a point, you can set the different point and these alarms will start going off. Um, you can also, I think, I think you can set it if it's too high or if it's too unbalanced, it'll also start doing the little buzzard. And of course this could probably be, this could probably be modified so that when this one of these buzzers goes off, you could use it so that it actually activates like a little relay or a contactor so that it disconnects the battery. Um, so a simple thing like this, also a few dollars is used on the RC world. You could use one of these. All right. I know this is very, very like brief and an overall description of how some of these things could be used to monitor your batteries. Using stuff that it's already, um, that you can buy at the store. It's used mostly for RC stuff. They're out there, they're a few bucks. You can use them, you can implement them, you can play with them, you can hack them. Um, I'm gonna show one of those in, in the future, show you a project how do you can use one of those. And of course, these batteries can be like a single battery like this, or it could be like even huge ones like this. It works the same way. These little guys do not care how big the battery is, you know? And so they will show you each individual group of cells um, and what the voltage is and, and relative to the other groups, which is what you need to know um, All right guys now I gotta go Pick up a trailer so I can take that car To another shop tomorrow. Let's do this. Let's do it
Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to leave some comments below. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe to our channels. Also think about becoming our patron by following the patron link. Uh, and don't forget to follow me on social media. All right, guys, see you guys tomorrow.